Okay, so finally, if you want the limit uh, range for the for the helix, what you have to do here is select the driven object, the helix window under window animation graph editor. Open the graph editor window and hit F. You can see that there is a range from here to here, right? So what you can do here is you can uh, make this move after and before the line stops here. So what you have to do here is select the curve here, go under curve, pre-infinity, cycle width offset, and do that for the other part, post-infinity, cycle width offset. Okay, once you do that, close it, you can see that it is already stretched and squashed. And there's going to be no more limit limitation on 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 the spring here. Okay. Okay, so uh we are kind of at the end here. And for a precise uh, movement, for example, if you really exaggerated the stretch or the squash, it might not really follow the, the cube here. Actually, it is following pretty well here, but what you can do here is you can go to the graph editor again, window animation, graph editor, and you can just mm, select the helix and if when you exaggerate the shapes and if it is like coming out on the other side of the cube you can what you can do is you can just select the helix and just shift Hold down the shift key on your keyboard, middle mouse, and drag it up and down so that it's going to match perfectly to the center of that uh, area here. Okay, you can move it. If it was like moving like that, you can just measure it and match it up to the center. Once you do that, it should work fine. Okay, finally what we have to do is we have we want to connect this to uh, an arm, right? So I'm just going to create a simple arm, create joints, create a arm, something like this. And I'm going to add an IK handler. Maybe I'll use a rotate plane server. Okay, because this is an arm. So select this, shift select this, and I create an arm here. Okay, so if I want this to connect with the arm, what you have to do is just place it where you want first. Okay, even this one, move it and place where you want to be connected and maybe because of this you can even match it up with and because by the way uh, for the arm user we do use a locator or a controller that is going to be the pull vector aiming on this target right so Instead of using the up vector, we can use that one as the up vector instead. Okay, we don't have to control this. So select this, shift select this, and do a pull vector, skeleton, no constraint, pull vector. So whenever I move this one, it's going to move up and down, right? So instead of using this one, why don't we use that one for my up vector? But first, I want to connect this to the arm. 
So select this part, shift select this and hit P to parent it. And even for this part, uh, select this, shift select this and hit P. So whenever I move my IK handler, you can see that the spring is moving together with the arm. However, as you can see, when I move this up and down, it's not rotating together with the pull vector. So I'm going to name this as, okay, I'll just copy that name here, locator one, and I'll change it, my up vector to that locator one. Control A under the uh, aim constraint, you can instead of using the locator up, you can set this control V and even for this one for the other aim constraint you can set this to locator one. So now if I move this up and down you can see that the locator is uh, the cube is following exactly how we expected.